Good day, grade 2. So today we will have your second lesson in math 2. So before we will proceed with our lesson proper, we'll have the question, how will you use or how will you show the number 324 using place value block? Again, how will you show the number 324 using place of value blocks? Did you still remember our place of value blocks? Okay, very good. So, in our place value blocks, a square will represent our hundreds. The thin rectangular shape is our tens and the single block will represent our once okay so the number we have in this on the screen is 324 how many hundreds do we have in our number okay very good we have three so we need to draw three square volume blocks enable for us to present 300 how about the tens very good it's Two. So we will create two thin rectangular shape, and the four would be your one. So we will create four single blocks. So what would be the number shows in our place value blocks? Okay, that is three hundreds, two tens, and four ones. So in 324, we have three hundreds, two tens, and four ones. So today we are pertaining with the place of value blocks in a comparing numbers. So this would be our lesson for today, block three, lesson two, comparing numbers. So this would be our aim for today. Students will be able to compare numbers up to 1,000 using symbols. Students will be able to compare numbers up to 1,000 using symbols. What are those symbols? That would be less than, greater than, or equal. Now I want you to pause the video. Enable for you to copy or to write our aim for today in your notebook. Again, pause the video. Enable for you to write the following in your notebook. I guess everybody is done writing at their aim for today or our aim for today. So we will proceed in our activity. With the instruction of show the place of value blocks in the given numbers. Then compare the two numbers in each pair to see which is greater. Again, the instruction for our activity show the place of value blocks in the given numbers. Then compare the two numbers in each pair to see which is greater. So let's have letter A. We have the numbers of 578 and 459. So as you can see on the screen, we have the place value charts or place value chart of hundreds, tens, and ones. So we will compare each digit enable for us to find the greater number among the two or between the two numbers given to us. So what would be the hundreds of our 572? Very good. That is a 5. So we'll create 5 squares. How about the hundreds of our second number? 459. Very good, that is a 4. So we need to create 4 hundreds later. And we have still here the tens. We have 7 
tens and six ones so we create six single blocks how about in our second number we have four hundreds five tens and nine ones now enable for us to identify which between of the two given numbers which is greater we need to compare each digit in our hundreds tens and ones so in hundreds we have the digits of four and five so what would be the symbol we can use five would be the hundreds in your first number and four for your second number what symbol can we use to compare these digits very good that is greater than because a five is greater than four how about in tens okay very good we have the digits of seven and five what would be the symbol we can use to compare these digits in tens great job uh, that is seven greater than five so we use greater than how about in our ones we have the digits of six and nine what would be the symbol we can use for six and nine very good so the the symbol that we can use to compare these digits would be less than because six is less than nine or smaller than nine so now that we are done comparing each digits in our hundreds tens and ones we will go back in our hundreds which is the symbol we use okay that is greater than so we can say that in our letter A, 576 is greater than 459. Did you got the correct answer? Very good. So I guess everybody got the correct answer. Now, it's time for you to answer in Larry B. I'll give you time to show the place value blocks in our place value table then compare each to find what would be the symbol we can use for letter b pause the video and able for you to answer this activity okay time is up let's check your answers so how many hundreds do we have very good that is three how about tens four ones it's six how about in the second number 349 we have three hundreds four tens and nine ones now we will compare the numbers or the digits from our hundreds, tens, and ones. So we have in hundreds, three and three. So as you observe, it is the same, right? Okay, it's equal. How about the tens? Four and four. Yes, they are still the same. How about the ones? Okay, six is less than nine so as you can see in our comparing of the digits we can see that the number that they end or the ones is nine is greater than the other so we can use the less than so we can say that 346 is less than 349 Let's have letter C. Pause the video and able for you to find out which of the two number is greater.
Okay, I guess everybody are done answering, let me see. So let's have the hundreds of the first number, 314, that is 3, 110, and 3 ones. How about in the second number, 133, 100, 3 tens, and 3 ones. So we need to compare 3 and 1. So what symbol we can use? Very good, that is greater than so we can say that 300 is greater than 100 how about in the tens we have one and three so what would be the symbol very good that is less than so we can say that one is less than three how about in our ones it's three and three so they are equal so we'll go back with the hundreds what is the symbol we use okay very good it's greater than so we can see that the number that has 300 is greater than the second number which is 133 so we can say that the answer would be 313 is greater than 133 so which is greater 999 or 1000 okay so as you can see we have the digits or the numbers of 999 1000 if you will observe with the numbers, we have the three digit and the four digit. Always remember, the more digit, the more the greater number. So we can say that 1000 is greater than 999. How about this one? 987 and 498. What symbol we can use enable for us to compare these two numbers? Okay, very good. We can use greater than because 987 is greater than 498. So here is the thrill. If we exchange the hundreds digit of the two numbers, will the answer still be the same? Okay, let's check. If we will interchange the hundreds, your 987 would become 487 because of the second number we exchanged it. We exchanged the 9 into 4 and the second number would become 900 or 998. So what would be the comparing symbol we can use for these two numbers okay very good that is less than because 487 is smaller than 998 did the answer still be the same no whenever the number is changing the symbol is still changing also Okay, now that you know how to compare two numbers using a place of value blocks, I want you to turn your workbook in page 16, seat work number two, comparing numbers. <laughs> Do not forget to answer your homework, your practice question, and your content book, Block 3, Lesson 2, in page 31. Again, do not forget to answer your assignment in the practice questions 1 to 3 in page 31. So that would be all for today. God bless.